Hello everybody, this is Aunt Beck, Aunt Beck's Creations, and welcome to a video on how to repair a Barbie's hair. I picked this Barbie doll up at the Goodwill for like two bucks, and you can see her hair is just a mess. Alright, so the first thing you want to do when you get a Barbie that needs some help is you can clean her body and her face and everything with a non-alcohol wipe. You don't want any alcohol on it because her facial features will come right off. Okay, her eyes and everything will wipe right off. So you can clean her all of her skin with just a, like a baby wipe with no alcohol in it. Okay. Now, for her hair, the first thing you're going to do is you want to get any dirt off from it. And what I use is just baby shampoo. Regular, made for real babies, baby shampoo. And I'm going to wash her hair. And then, um, it looks like somebody tried to braid this. I need to get that undone if I can. So let's wash her hair. Oh, and fabric softener is her cream rinse because... Her hair is not made out of real hair. It is a thin synthetic. So we're going to treat it just like fabric, okay? So if, if you've got any braiding or any of that, you want to get that undone. Because if you try to um, wash your hair and it's still in a braid at this state and it's all tangled, you'll end up with even more of a mess. So, okay, her, let's... um. And I got my cheap fabric softener. I'm going to back out a little bit so you all can see what I'm doing. And we don't need the fabric softener until her hair is completely washed. Let me uh, see if you guys can see what I'm doing. And this is a, 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 this house was built in the 1940s, so this sink is ancient. So it's not perfect, so that's why it looks the way it does. All right. You're going to want, you don't want to use hot water either because like I said, this is a th synthetic fiber. So we're going to kind of use a little bit warmish water, but not real hot. And I try not to get the whole doll wet, just her hair because that's all, all we're really concerned with. I want to get it good and wet. And then I'm going to put just a little shampoo in my hand. Let me get you guys down here where I am. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing and that I'm not casting too big a shadow in it. Just a tiny little bit of shampoo, about the size of a dime. That should be all she needs. Because let's face it, it looks like she has a lot of hair on her head, but she really doesn't. And I'm going to get it so it's all over my hands. Rub them together. And then I'm just going to put it on Barbie and wash her hair. Try not to tangle it anymore because it's it's already pretty tangled. And the baby shampoo won't hurt her features either. I'm just going to put some of that on her face because her face was still a little dirty. I haven't taken a baby wipe to her yet. And see I'm just kind of rubbing the hair. I just want to get it good and clean. Now this Barbie had curly hair so to get that again what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to find something you can make Barbie curlers out of. Um, I'm, I'm still working on that solution but I can tell you how to untangle it. So this is basically an untangle video for Barbie's hair. Alright so she's sudsed up real good. I'm just gonna rinse it off. She's going under the rinse, head and all. I'm just trying not to get it her head full of water. Just rinse until it, you know, there's no soap coming out. I'm glad I don't have to have my hair done like this, aren't you? Imagine if somebody put us in a machine and tipped us upside down. Wouldn't that be ridiculous? Anyway. Alright, so there's no, doesn't feel like there's any soap left in it. Alright, just going to lightly squeeze her hair out. 
And so her hair's, now her hair is clean, but it's still a tangled mess. And to help us get that out, she's got to lay down so I can get her to lay flat. We're going to work some fabric softener into her hair. And you can use as much as you think you need to to help. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some fabric softener in her hair. This is the cheapest fabric softener I could get at Aldi's. So you do not have to, you know, put your expensive downy on if you're doing doll repairs. So I'm going to hold her over the sink and I'm just going to pour this on and let it saturate the hairs. So I used about a half of a cap full. That's probably plenty. And then I'm just going to kind of massage it in. So it gets all on all of the hair pieces. Alright. Work it in so it's all around all of them. Now you can leave this on her hair overnight. I'm going to leave it in her hair for about 30 minutes and then come back and rinse it and then we'll start combing it out very carefully. Alright. So there, Barbie's in condition right now. We're going to leave her like that for 30 minutes, and I'll pick up at that point when I come back, okay? 30 minutes. I just wanted to come back on and tell you I'm going to add a little bit more by just pouring it down her face and on her hair because her hair is really messed up. So because it's cheap, um, stuff I'm not real worried about it running down the drain so I've got the timer set for 30 minutes and we'll be back okay it's been 30 minutes and what you're gonna need is just an inexpensive you can get them from the dollar store and a package of I don't know how many but um, you're gonna comb the Barbie's hair in sections just like you would a small little girl, you want to be as careful as if it was a real child's hair because it's only sewn into her head. You know, each, if you can look, there's rows of stitching that hold the hair in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work some loose from each section because the conditioner's on there, um, it comes you know apart a little bit easier so what I'm gonna do is I'm leaving the conditioner the conditioner the um, fabric softener in there and this takes some time and you just wanna work it and then as you get one section done then you'll move to the next one and see that gets that little teeny piece free and you're just gonna keep doing that get just a little section of it don't pull, because if it was a little girl and you pulled, she'd scream at you, right? So treat the Barbie's hair just as if it's on a little girl. This takes time. And then comb it out. See if you just keep gently combing, you'll work the little knots to the ends of the hair, and then it's free. If you wanted to divide her hair just like the hairdresser does yours and clip the the you know remaining hair out of your way, you can do that. But I try to work on just an, a little tiny bit of the hair at a time so that I can hold what I'm still got to go through off to the side. And I just keep working it until the knots that are in there are all the way at the end. Okay, see that's all done. All right.
And like I said, this is probably going to straighten out her curls for the most part. So you would have to figure out a way to recurl her hair if you had some kind of little curlers of some sort. And generally when I'm doing this part of it, I'll sit and put the Barbie like in a bowl in my lap and I'll just keep working on her hair until I get it to the very last one. Um, the very last group and it'll all be clear but like I said this is going to take some time so and I'm just going to repeat what I'm doing brush it to the end get the knots to the end if you get a particularly tough knot if you can get it all the way to the end and it still won't come out like that one's just about come out you can just clip it out. Um, but see, all this section I've gotten clear now. Alright, so I'm going to go finish watching a 48 hours and I'll come back when I get to the very end. And like I said, I'm just going to keep grabbing sections of her hair all the way around her head and then once I get all of this separated I'll rinse some of the the rest of the conditioner out. A lot of it'll come off, you know, in on my hands. So that's all there is to it, really. And patience. You have to have patience to get all this mess out. But if you work just in little sections like that, in no time her hair will be completely untangled. If you wanted to twist it and just let it dry you could get some wave back in it. But if you had a way to get some curls in it, that would be pretty too. All right, I'll let you go and I'll be back. I gotta rinse my hands before I can turn the camera off. All right, so me and Barbie are gonna go watch 48 hours and I'll be back. Okay, I've gotten, it used to look like this, remember? And now this is this other side and I can comb through it. You will have some hairs come out on your comb and just like if you're brushing your own hair and when it's tangled as bad as this stuff was um, you will have some hair loss. <laughs> There's no helping that. So you just keep going and work your way through the little pieces. Work the, the knots, as my grandmother used to say, out of the rat's nest. Comb the knots out of the rat's nest and then to the end. And then I combine it with what's already been cleaned up and make sure it's all clear. And then I just go to the next little section and divide it a little bit with my fingers. And see how that's knotting up there? You just work your way until you can get a little bit free. And see with that fabric softener on, it pulls free easier. And then you can work with just a little section. work the knot to the end and with her hair being blonde I'm not sure you're gonna see but there is some hair coming off I don't know if you can see that or not but that is coming off from her and Tippy's gonna jump up and be a nuisance and then as you get a section clear go ahead and comb it so it's combined with the other and I'm going to keep going, but I wanted to show you, this is what it looked like before, and this is her hair after, and it's still going to be kind of wavy. So we'll be back when I get it all done now.
All right, guys, let's give her a good rinse out and rinse some of this um, fabric softener out so her hair's not too sticky and greasy and get the conditioner off her face. You don't want to, um, you don't want to wring it or any of that. Um, I'm just trying to get the conditioner all off from her. This one came with a necklace, so I'm not sure what the necklace means or what this doll is supposed to be. But you want to just make sure the water and everything's just running down. You don't want to tangle the ends. All right, get all the conditioner off from her. Then I've got kind of a jug here. I'm just going to stand her in the jug. And we're going to do one last comb out. Let me um, let me lower the camera a little bit so you can see her hair better. Maybe come in a little closer. Sorry for the dishes in the drainer, but this is my kitchen sink. So I'm going to hold her head and just gently... If it starts to catch, you just work it to the end. Like I said earlier. You can see some hairs coming off, but it, that's okay. She's just shedding a little. You just don't want to pull too hard and have a whole like a whole section come out because then she'll have a bald spot. And no lady likes a bald spot. So from tangled mess to golden locks, that's what we got. So now our hair is all clean. And because it is a synthetic hair, it ta it'll take a little while to dry. And she's still going to have some wave because her hair was the crinkly hair to begin with. But if you wanted the real curly curls back, you would have to figure out a way to to put the curls back. But this saves her hair. And now I have two Barbies with fixed hair and I'm going to make some clothes for them. So I've saved this Barbie from making her way to the dump. And perhaps a little girl will get to play with her again. So don't throw your your daughter's dollies out. If she's still playing with them and the hair's gotten ratty, you can save it. It takes just a little bit of work. And see, there's just a tiny bit of hair. I did get several clumps like that to come off, you know, when I was combing. Whoops, there she goes. But there she is with all her hair fixed. So she's pretty once more. And my camera's going, that's a face. You want me to um, <laughs> put a name to it? So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just put them in a comment down below.